Welcome to Giants Magazine. I'm your host, Amy Gutierrez. Well, July 20th was a very emotional day for the Giants organization. Rumors started swirling early that morning that 36-year-old Ray Durham, the Giants' switch-hitting second baseman, was being traded to the very team they were facing that day, the Milwaukee Brewers. And after the game, the rumor became fact. And before Durham headed to the other clubhouse at AT&T Park, I had a chance to get some final thoughts from the fan favorite. Take a look. Well, Ray, the rumors were swirling all around today that you were going to be traded to the Brewers. We can confirm that you definitely are, and it's a bittersweet day for fans, for sure. I'm sure for this clubhouse, I know you're a big favorite here. How is it for you? Uh, you know, it's, it's mixed emotions. Um, you know, I've built a lot of friendships here, and um, you know, and I know this organization is, you know, is going in a different direction. You know, and I understood that, and. But, you know, on the other hand, you know, every player wants to be, you know, in a, in a playoff hunt. I mean, especially, I mean, I've been around a long time and, I mean, I've been on some good teams and, and, and I've only been to, you know, three playoffs. So it's, you know, I got an opportunity, um, you know, with those guys over there and I'm going to go over there and, you know, really continue to do what I've been doing all year. And like you said, you're going to a team that's definitely in contention right now. Um, you had some control in this deal, so they think that you're a good fit for them. You must think that you're a good fit for them as well. Yeah, um, you know they, they're a young team over there, um, and not many of those guys have been in, in playoff hunts. Um, and I'm just going to basically go over there and you know really kind of loosen things up and you know keep things loose and you know really just go over there and you know, do the things that I've been doing over here, you know, and that's basically playing the game and having fun. We know that this is all part of, a, of the game. Mm -hmm. You've been through this before, a mid-season trade in 0-2 from the White Sox to Oakland A's. This is a little odd. You're going to the team that's right now <laughs> in the visiting clubhouse. What happens? Do you get on the bus? Do you get some time to get your affairs in order? No, actually, when I leave from here, I got to go right over there and jump on the, jump on the bus and, and go up on a plane, uh, going to St. Louis, you know, you know right in the fire. Uh, but that I mean it's, you know, it, like you said, I mean it's a part of the game. Uh, I've been through it before, so and I, I know what to expect. But it is a little strange, you know, walking down the hall and, you know, doing that. But you know, it's, you know, it's a part of the game. Um, you know, I'm I'm used to it, and you know, it's just another chapter. Last one for you, and I, I do want to just reiterate, you are definitely a favorite in this clubhouse. <laughs> I've heard it, a fan favorite. What will you take away from your time with the San Francisco Giants? Uh. You know the fans. Uh, the fans here are, are tremendous. Uh, you know, you you really can't take away the friendships that you know that I've made in this in this clubhouse. I mean, not only you know this year, but you know JT and Woody and and, and Ninner um, and you know the Willies. I mean, it's. I mean, as a player, you couldn't ask for you know a, a better organization to to be a part of. We'll enjoy watching you. Oh. We've enjoyed watching you all this time. Thank you. In return for Ray Durham, San Francisco continues to add to its increasingly formidable farm system with AAA left-handed pitcher Steve Hammond, a 26-year-old from Vallejo, and speedy Class A outfielder Darren Ford. The 22-year-old had stolen 48 bases before the trade and was named the fastest man and best defensive outfielder in the Brewers minor league system by Baseball America.